It hasn't even been a year since protesters attacked the U.S. Capitol, demanding that the election results be overturned. Five people died as a result. No official has yet been held accountable. Now, President Joe Biden is hosting a two-day virtual Summit for Democracy that his administration says will provide governments and civil society groups with tools to defend against authoritarianism, fight corruption, and promote human rights. Journalists, advocacy organizations, and foundations are doing everything they can to push back. But they can't do it alone. At the Summit for Democracy this week, we're asking governments to make concrete commitments to strengthen free, independent media and help tackle the diverse challenges that they face. But the nonprofit Freedom House, which advocates for American leadership on democracy around the world, does not even rank the U.S. in the top 40 when it comes to access to political rights and civil liberties. The record of the United States on human rights, and in particular freedom of the press, is certainly not perfect. We've seen cases of journalists and news outlets who have been surveilled and spied on by the Department of Justice. We've seen throughout the United States at protests, uh, police and law enforcement attacking journalists. U.S. officials say they're approaching this, recognizing that they too have work to do. But a number of U.S. allies have been shut out. Hungary, a member of the European Union. Turkey, a member of NATO and Egypt, one of the largest recipients of U.S. foreign aid. Among the guest list are Brazil, Pakistan, and the Philippines, all countries with a long record of impunity. Beijing's response to the summit has been scathing. If the U.S. puts together a summit in the name of democracy without consulting the international community or coordinating with the U.N. or other international bodies, is this humility? If it puts half of the world's countries into a category of so-called non-democracies, measured with its own yardstick, is this humility? Others propose a shift in perspective. If we want to face the challenges of all humanity and turn international relations into a positive sum game, it is important to focus on the big picture, focus on our common ground. The Biden administration says it will ask summit participants to sign on to initiatives to protect electoral integrity and prevent the abuse of technology for political crackdowns, but that ultimately it just wants to further the conversation. Yasmin Al-Sabawi, TRT World, Washington.